Hi, everyone. Um, thank you for joining us. Um, first and foremost, I just want to send uh, my best wishes and best thoughts to everyone. Um, it's a very difficult time, um, not only here in America, but across the world. Um, and I know that a lot of you are really being careful, and we're very thankful for that. And more importantly, we're really grateful that you're taking your time this afternoon to stay indoors, um, stay inside, um, and hear a little bit from ZOA campus and what our department has been doing. Um, my name is Jonathan Ginsberg. I'm the managing director of uh, the campus department for ZOA. Um, a little bit briefly about myself. Um, I've been working within uh, the ProRiso world for almost five years with the ZOA. And before that, I lived in Israel for many years, um, also served as a lone soldier in the IDF. And it was really after Operation Tsuketan in 2014 and after witnessing um, so much of what was happening on college campuses from afar while I was in Israel and hearing um, and reading about so many things on social media, distortions, lies, uh, which compelled me to get involved. And I'm very, very grateful um, to be working for ZOA and to be working with such great staff. Um, well, I will let them all introduce themselves as well. And then I will talk a little bit about some of our programs and each of us will also get a chance to share more in depth about what we're doing on college campuses and the differences we're making. Um, so that's a little bit from me. Um, everyone, would you just want to go around quickly and introduce yourself? Sure. So my name is Orr Taylor. I'm the Associate Director and Mid-Atlantic Coordinator. So I'm based out of DC. I'm almost at four years in COA, almost one year in this position. And uh, it's been great. I think um, I really became a part of the organization when I was in my senior year of undergrad. And uh, there was an incident with the Students for Justice in Palestine. I've always been strongly pro-Israel, kind of born into that with my mom being the head of the Federation in Sacramento and just being Israeli American. Um, I always had that sense of pride and solidarity. And when there was an incident that rose up, we, students needed support. Um, we tried to get all the organizations on campus to unite behind that and to combat the hate that SGP was doing. And the DOA through the Center for Law and Justice really had our backs. They pushed me through the administration and even got an investigation opened into the New York State Senate. Um, so really, they were the only organization that was fully behind us and didn't want us to have to apologize for things that were happening to us. Um, and so when I graduated, DOA was kind enough to let me interview for the job, and I'm really happy that I started that off as my first job after college. Um, and we'll be able to talk more later into the call, but uh, thanks for taking the time, guys. I know it's all coronavirus news all the time right now, um, and we're no different making the adjustments. And so we're gonna try to find the best ways to make it work going forward in the new reality. And uh, I'll let Nadal Al-Kobi introduce himself next. Thank you so much, Shor, and thank you, Jonathan. Uh, my name is Nadav Alkobe, and it's an honor for me to introduce myself as a Midwest and West Coast Campus Coordinator. I always grew up in an Israeli household, right? My family lived, came from Israel. Um, from our, my grandfather was a paratrooper for 35 years. Um, I live in Aventura, right? I lived in Aventura, which is one of the most Jews per mile outside of Israel. Um, I went to college when I went to university campuses. I didn't the initiative to speak in behalf of Israel. I didn't know that it was important. And then when I joined the Jewish for yeah, I realized that the Jewish students, right, don't know the difference between CNN and Israel that I know. I also realized that the Jewish leaders don't really care to stand up for Israel. So if we as Jews the difference, what does it say about those that have no connection? If we as the Jewish students don't stand up for Israel, why would anybody else? So that's when I took the initiative um, to really advocate and have conversations about Israel. And this brought me to this point. Uh, my three goals is to combat anti-Semitism, counter the delegitimization of Israel, and most importantly, to put Israel in a positive spotlight. And I look forward to sharing the conversation about how I do this, also how I inspire and educate students in the Midwest and West Coast. So thank you so much for being here, and I'm looking forward to this conversation. Thanks, Nadav. Go ahead, Ben, please. Yes. <laughs> Thanks, Nadav. Hi, everyone. Thanks so much for joining us today. Uh, my name is Marlene. I am the Tri-State and Upstate Campus Coordinator 
for the Zionist Organization of America. I am the newest member of the team, but so, so grateful to be here. Just finished my six month mark a few, few weeks ago. So hopefully many, many more adventures to come. Um, I graduated from NYU this past May. Um, I'm also a candidate for my master's in public administration. So really passionate about nonprofit work, community building, community organizing. Um, for me, my I'm first generation American. My family immigrated from the former Soviet Union in 1992, modern day Ukraine. So I am Russian speaking. So I grew up with stories of anti-Semitism, stories of Jewish persecution, but also I didn't really grow up in a Jewish community. I didn't have rabbis, shuls, Jewish friends. So for me, my Zionism um, actually came from a growth in observance. I think that when I started exploring what does it mean to be a Jew, I think I understood that we're a tribe and we're a people. And if we're a people, then we need a state and we need a home. Um, and so that's where my Zionism comes from. And I hope to be able to share that and empower students. I know that being a recent graduate and still being a somewhat involved on campus, NYU was not the most friendly environment for Jewish students, for Zionist students. Um, so I just hope to be able to give back and make sure that people are able to have more and students are able to have more positive experiences than, than I did being a Zionist on campus. Perfect, thanks Marlene. My name is Ben Shine. I'm the Southeast and Southwest Campus Coordinator. Thank you all for coming to this webinar. And I hope you're all doing well, especially given the given the current circumstances. It's really nice that you were able to make it out. So a little bit of my background. I, uh, I actually started with the department about a little over a year ago now, but I say I have been working with ZOA for almost three years now, actually going on four. I started with ZOA really in 2016 in my summer. I was going into my uh, summer semester for college and I had the opportunity to attend ZOA's campus leadership mission, which we'll talk about a little bit later in the call. But I was able to go to Israel with the ZOA and had an amazing time. And when I came back on campus, I became a ZOA fellow and I remained a ZOA fellow for about two years. A little bit before that, I started my own group on campus. Just like Israel, my campus, not many people can point it out on the map. It was East Carolina University in the middle of nowhere, Greenville, North Carolina. And I hope some of the Greenville people are on this call today to represent ECU. But I started a group called Pirates for Israel in 2015 after jumping through a few hurdles in November. And after it was originally Students Supporting Israel at East Carolina University, we switched to Pirates for Israel. Probably, I, 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 went, to, I went to school for anthropology with, for my major, but I argue that I actually majored in Israel advocacy. I really dove into the entire Jewish pro-Israel pro advocacy world and I became immersed within it. And after I graduated, I decided to get a little bit of non-pro-Israel uh, work experience. Work experience. I became a inside sales representative for a large uh, telecommunications company. And about after a year of that experience, I decided to look into the options with ZOA and found my home with my amazing campus department. And I'm really excited to share some of our experiences that we're going through it within the Southeast and Southwest. We have a lot of amazing, amazing things happening on our about 25 campuses out here. And I look forward to speaking to you all a little bit later in the call. Thank you so much, Ben. Um, thanks everyone for sharing that. Um, and I really just want to stress, um, again, we're, we're so happy to have such a close department. We all work remotely um, in different corners of the country, but um, we really stay in touch all the time and we're in such close coordination that it really drives our work. And as campus coordinators um, and, and staff leaders of the department, we're really there on the ground working with students directly day in and day out, um, generally on campus. Um, and as we'll uh, give some updates as well, um, in this unusual time, we're shifting gears uh, to the virtual realm um, for the time being, hopefully a very short time but we really look forward to getting back um, where we belong on campuses very, very soon. But um, as Nadav and many of our staff members already mentioned, um, effectively 